Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Ruben. So today we are going to try to solve the problem. Uh, and the problem is when you try to clone the project from the remote repository, we see an error or warning, I mean error that uh, stop us to clone the project. And the error is like the first we see the authenticity of host Bitbucket cannot be established and uh, another one is a uh, host key verification is failed fatal uh, could not read from repository please make sure you have the access right so it's, this will be like maybe another error uh, another error will be uh, permission denied so the reason we see this type of error is because when you as soon as we enter git clone and give the url and hit enter it will directly go to the Bitbucket and try to download the um, download the file. Then Bitbucket is asking, okay, you try to download the file through the SSS, but I need a key that um, I need a key that you should have in your um, in your um, in your system. And if you do not have a key, you are not allowed to download the file. So that exactly what is happening here so that means maybe uh, we have a key in our system but that key is not uh, available in the, um, in the in the project right uh, in the in the big bucket or we may not have the key so let's check if we have a key available in our system or not and the key should be under your name uh, under your user so let me go to the group then go to folder it should be user slash your uh, system your name and by default you may see like something like this you see is um, and and the key should be under dot sss and it is the hidden file so in order to see the hidden file what you have to do shift command and uh, period and there should be ssh so i don't see any sss file here dot ssh so so let's create ssh file so in order for to do that what you can do um, click or go to the bitbucket where is you uh, uh, you log in so you will see the repository and on the right side click on your profile setting personal settings and on the left side you see sss key and since I don't have any key here, so generate an SSS key, right click, open new tab. Open the new tab. And this is the setup and SSS key. So let me, uh, so this for Windows. And I am using Mac, so I'm going to follow this on for Mac. So let me open terminal. So this is the terminal. So just copy and paste all the comment they give us. So first is as I say, Kizen. So I'm not going to uh, you know, write anything, just enter, enter again, enter again. So since our, um, uh, window is open as you see as soon as i create the sss key the folder should be created here dot sss so now if i expand that dot sss we have a two key id underscore rsa id underscore rsa dot public so that what they say here so this key has been added to our local machine so what, let me see what it is the next steps. So we already done till this part. And if we run this comment, it should display these two ID, public and private key. Okay. So display here. So now we have to run this comment to start the agent. And then we have to add the SSS key to the following path. 
we are blindly just follow the instruction. So copy till the here. And this I have to add the uh, private key here. Enter. So identity added. So identity added. So the next step is add the public key to your uh, account setting in Bitbucket. So from the Bitbucket, choose personal setting from a router and a client key. And we have to copy the uh, public key, right? So this is the comments for Mac. Comment B, public key. Enter. So that means uh, public key has been copied to clipboard. And this is one way. And another way we can just uh, right click, open with text study. We can also copy from here. Okay. So since we already copied to our clipboards, let me go back to the big bucket and it's already open. So add key and paste the key here and we can name it like uh, SS is key added, whatever you like. So add key. So the key has been add, added. So now go back to the repository, click on the repository name and click on clone SSS copy. So now let me go to, let me delete, um, close this uh, terminal and open terminal in download. So CD download and let me see if I have anything in the download folder right now is empty. So expectation is to this project um, repository we should see in the download folder. So first, are you sure you want to continue? I have to say yes. So as soon as I did, since this is a small file, so it is receiving object and it is 100% done. So right now, if I expand this on, I see read.md and .git ignore is uh, uh, is, um, is hidden file. So as you see, read, readme.md and, and .git ignore. So we are successfully uh, clone the projects.